Hey Pectus Warriors, it's Riley Byrne from FixPectus.com. In today's video, I wanna talk about the complete guide to fixing pectus. The surgical approach, the vacuum bell, bracing, exercise, and then the different severities and the different ages and types of pectus you can have and the right approach. Now, I am the world's only pectus specialist trainer who've helped thousands of people, so I have a bias towards exercise, and I will admit that first up in this video. That being said, I'm not gonna tell you exercise is appropriate for every single case. So watch the video and you can see what I think is the best recommendation for you. Firstly, I wanna categorize pectus in this video as mild, moderate, and severe. The best way to categorize it is through a hauler index, which will actually give you a number rating. The hauler index is calculated off a scan. A lot of you probably haven't got a scan. So in this video, we're just gonna go off a visual test. Severe, something like this. Moderate, something like this mild, something like this, okay? They're the visual categories that you can categorize yourself with. We're gonna start this video talking about severe. If you have a severe case of pectus, generally speaking, surgery in those instances is actually gonna be a good approach. A lot of the time, if your pectus is that severe, there's gonna be other health complications associated with it in terms of your heart and lung function, okay? And so if you have pectus that severe, you really do need to get a scan, get it checked out, and then follow the recommendations of your doctor. Even if your case is just cosmetic, sometimes surgery is a good option because the reality is this condition, it takes a huge mental toll on your mental health. And when your pectus is that severe, exercise is gonna help. I've worked with clients with very severe pectus and it has helped them and they've built confidence in their bodies. But it's not gonna be a miracle fix in terms of making your chest flat. Okay, and so no matter how great of a physique we build, your pectus will always be noticeable if it's this severe. It doesn't mean you can't implement exercise because it will help you build great confidence in your body and make it look less noticeable, but it won't mask it as effectively if your case is more moderate or mild. The other thing is if you have a severe pectus and you're still growing, the vacuum bell is a device that you put on your chest and it will lift your chest. Okay, now if you have pectus this severe, it's not gonna make your chest completely flat. It'll probably bring it to about a halfway point if you're still growing. Okay? And so you have to be consistent with it. If you use it daily, consistently, Consistently, you follow the advice of your doctor or whoever you buy the vacuum bell from, then let's say you have a pectus that's six centimeters deep, it might end up being three centimeters deep if you use it consistently and you'll create a permanent change. If you're an adult and you have severe pectus like this and it's just cosmetic and you're not gonna get the surgery, you could also implement the vacuum bell, but it doesn't work as well for adults. From what I've seen, it's, it's typically not gonna be a permanent change. So there's gonna be a level of maintenance that's required. You'll have to use it daily for, for a year plus, and then you might have to use it like once every three or four days, once a week even, um, and you'll maintain some degree of a lift. But again, it won't even give you as much of a lift as if you're still growing. So typically I recommend it in people who are still growing. They're really the recommendations for if you have really severe sunken chest. And, and now when we're talking about surgery, typically they recommend the NUS procedure. That is what I've seen has given people the best result. Um, and in most cases it's successful. It is an intensive surgery though, so you do wanna consider it. It is often expensive, but if your pectus is this severe, most countries will probably cover it under healthcare. But it still is intense, there's a long rehab. You know, it's something you, you don't wanna consider lightly, okay? But if there's a health complication, it's really your only option. To summarize, severe pectus, you're really looking at surgery as the main thing I would typically be recommending. Exercise definitely would be recommending because it's gonna help you after surgery to build a great body, build confidence in your body. So it's definitely something you, you should probably be doing if you're not liking your body anyway. Um, so I still recommend exercise, but in terms of the means of lifting your chest, so you're looking at surgery or potentially the vacuum belt depending on your age, okay? That is my recommendations for severe pectus. Now the next category is moderate pectus. Okay, typically, you know, a bit deeper than three centimeters around that mark. Now, moderate pectus, oftentimes there's not gonna be a health complication, but again, if you have a moderate pectus, I'd still get a scan. I've seen a client with a moderate pectus still have a heart condition associated with his pectus. If it's just a cosmetic moderate case, then if you're growing, we wanna use the vacuum bell. I think it's really worth using that while you have the window. So I would definitely look into the vacuum bell. Especially with moderate, it's gonna work even better. Say if you have a severe, it's gonna give it to, severe will get it to a moderate case, moderate will get it to a mild. And when you get your pectus to a mild case, and then you also implement exercise, sculpting the pecs, opening up your posture, developing a really impressive physique, your pectus won't be noticeable. So moderate, you're looking at growing, ex vacuum bell and exercise, grown, Exercise 100%, it's gonna help you so much with a moderate pectus. It really can make a moderate pectus look hardly noticeable. Just look at my client testimonials of, of moderate pectus results. You know, half my clients have a moderate pectus and it's worked really, really well for them. Um, so 
exercise definitely and specifically pectus ta tailored training it's not just exercise it's you know weight training specifically to build key muscle groups stretches to specifically to open key posture if you're interested in coaching links in the description book a strategy call with me so then i can meet you but anyway so we definitely want exercise and the vacuum bell is something that i would definitely recommend if you're growing if you're grown then the vacuum bell again same principle as severe it'll it it will help but you need to keep using it. It's not gonna really be a permanent adaptation to your chest wall. So it's something you really wanna consider, you know, whether you're gonna be consistent with it daily use, cause it is annoying to use consistently every day. You know, you can, it's not like you have to permanently pump it. When I first read about it, I thought you had to keep pumping it. You pump it to max suction and then you can go about your day. Okay, um, you'll go about your next hour or two while it's on. But it does feel a bit uncomfortable. It is $500 and it's not gonna be a miracle fix. Okay, if you're grown. And then you could also get the surgery if you have a moderate pectus, if you so desire. You have to weigh up the cost because more than likely if you have a moderate pectus, it won't be covered under healthcare. So it's gonna be very expensive, like tens of thousands of dollars the rehab time and just the risks you know surgery is never something to consider lightly especially this surgery now i have actually worked with a client who had like an implant put in his chest and he had a moderate pectus things like that you could look into as well i'm not a huge expert on that but i just wanted to like just talk about them briefly in this video it's something you could look into too and so now we're going to move on to a mild pectus. Now this is a pectus which is, you know, less than three centimeters deep. For some people it's just a slight depression in their sternum, okay? I would classify my pectus that I was born with as a mild pectus. For mild pectus, the treatment is really is exercise, okay? That's all you need. Proper weight training to build target muscles that'll help muscular condition. You're looking at muscles like the abs, the obliques, the pecs, the back for your posture, and then also stretching to open up your posture too, okay? You know, this is what I do you know, mild, moderate pectus, they're my best results. And uh, you know, I've helped hundreds of people now, maybe thousands, um, you know, it's been a long time, 10 years of doing this. So mild pectus, like mine, dude, you can make your body so great if you commit to this lifestyle of exercise, training, stretching, nutrition, and build lean muscle. So really that's what I recommend. Again, if you have the pectus excavatum condition, it's always worth seeing a doctor, getting everything checked out, but more than likely you're not gonna have any health concerns associated with it. It's always worth getting it checked out though. Now, if you have a mild pectus and you are still growing, you could also implement the vacuum bell. Depends on your desire for a flat chest um, because obviously it's gonna be very effective. And if you're still growing, there's a chance your pectus could get worse with you, as you age. So if you implement a vacuum bell now, it, it may be worthwhile. So I would consult with your doctor again if you're growing with a mild pectus about the vacuum bell, but you definitely wanna be using it in conjunction with exercise because exercise is really the, the miracle here. And you know, when I'm saying fixed pectus, a lot of the time it is targeted towards people with a mild case. And I, I wanna start clarifying that more and clarifying my definition of fixed pectus with exercise because I'm not saying miraculously make your chest flat but for a mild case it's not going to do that it's just sculpting your body to make it not noticeable and the thing is you know actually what I find with a mild case is having pectus mildly actually makes your body look better I found it for me once you build your body when you have a skinny body it makes your body look horrible and the indent's very noticeable and you look like you have a deformity which for me as a kid every time I took off my shirt someone would point at my chest and say what's that so it was obviously very obvious now I never get that even at I'm at the beach topless I'm always topless now because I'm confident in my body and I live in a hot place in Australia but when I'm at the beach and I tell people what I do and I'm already topless. They're like, what, you have a chest deformity? They don't even notice at all, even when I tell them I have a chest deformity. And the thing is, I actually, it actually makes my chest look better. It makes my chest look more aesthetic having pectus because it, it helps it have more pop and my pecs have more pop. And when I was trying the vacuum bell and I was actually, when I bought the vacuum bell to experiment and, and get more insight into it for you guys, um, I stopped using it and the reason I stopped using it was because post vacuum bell when my sternum was lifted, I hated my body. I didn't hate it, but I didn't like it as much because it made my pecs not look as big. And so for me, I really liked the mild pectus and how you can sculpt your body around it to make it look not noticeable, but instead just have a great body that you can be confident in. If you have a mild pectus and you're also muscular and you're still getting affected, the treatment option I'd recommend there is if you have like really sculpted body, you've opened your posture, you've done everything, you have a great physique. Cause I sometimes have people book strategy calls with me and I'm like, who look amazing and they have a mild pectus, it's not noticeable, but they're still in their heads about it. The reality is guys, this is a mental disorder. Um, so it's important to talk about this. It's, it, it, for, for most of us, it's a mental disorder where, you know, mentally we're unhappy with the way we look. Okay, especially if it's just a cosmetic case. And so sometimes, especially in today's society with body image issues and social media and things, that's all it is, it's a, it's a mental perception of self. And it doesn't matter how great you look, sometimes you're mentally always gonna be so obsessed with that because you just wanna be normal. People wanna be normal. But the reality is, is 
exercise, especially if you're just treating it with that, isn't gonna make your chest flat. It can make your pectus amazing. It can make your body amazing and your pectus hardly noticeable. But if you're so wrapped up on your chest being indented, you're not gonna be happy. You might wanna see a psychologist. I've had guys reach out to me who have the best physiques that, like, I've ever seen and they're still not happy. And I'm like, you need to see a psychologist. Your pectus isn't noticeable. So it, that is actually a valuable route, seeing a psychologist, talking to someone about that. And it may be of good help. So it's another, it's another treatment option that really can help because this is a mental condition as much as it is a physical condition. So you're looking at the four, the four options really is the surgical options, NUS procedure, Ravitch procedure, pectus up, implants, the vacuum bell, and then exercise, okay? Typically exercise I recommend for all. The type of exercise will depend though on the severity. Um, and you know, if you're gonna get the surgery, then the program, the exercise program you need to do will be varied as well. Because if you actually have developed and really sculpted strong muscles, it'll actually make the, the surgery potentially less effective. So anyway, that's what I would recommend if you have a mild case. Now guys, if you are wanting clarification on what I think you should do, then you should go to my website, fixpectus.com and you should book a strategy call with me. Okay, that way I can meet you, understand your needs, your pectus, your circumstances, and then tell you the appropriate approach. A lot of the time it is signing up to my program, but not always. Sometimes I tell people, look, I think you should go down a surgical route. This, is, this video has been aimed at the sunken chest, but typically with pectus, there's also the rib flare. Okay, now exercise is really what we're looking at when it comes to making that look less noticeable. So for all cases who have rib flare, which is almost all cases of pectus, because when your sternum is depressed, it typically pushes the ribs out. Then training your abs and your obliques specifically, and then also getting your pecs to protrude more, really helps mask that. The rib flare actually used to annoy me more than the sunken chest. So for treating that, you know, my program, exercise, training your abs, your obliques, getting a fit, lean, muscular body really helps. Also, bracing is something that is an interesting topic that I am diving into more. I'm talking with someone who actually has rib flare braces and trying to find the effectiveness on that. There are a lot of scammy ones out there. Okay, I really wanna make sure anything I recommend is legitimate. So I'm still trying to uncover that and potentially it's another avenue, but I wouldn't go buying that yet until we have more information available and I'll make a video on it. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that. Okay, but as I said, exercise is gonna help. Again, it's not gonna miraculously change your structure in terms of your ribs or your sunken chest, but it can really mask it. And it did for me, you know, the, the ribs used to kill me as a kid, I hated it. Um, and you know, since I've built my pecs so they protrude more, my abs and my obliques, it's not really noticeable anymore. The last category of pectus is just females with pectus. I have a video on this, um, so I'd check that out. But for females with pectus, exercise isn't as applicable. The reason for this is a big part of this is sculpting the pecs, which isn't as applicable for women. Uh, exercise is still gonna help with the, the rib flaring a little bit as well. But again, it's not a miracle fix in terms of actually making your ribs flat. So don't be thinking that. You also could look into breast augmentation surgery and the NUS procedure, you know, um, breast augmentation works well. It's kind of like developing the pecs in terms of masking it, um, but the female equivalent. And then also the vacuum bell for females. I do think pectus healing can potentially provide that. So it's worth consulting with them or consulting with your doctor about it and getting their advice. But it is another option for females in, in some, some circumstances, but you do need a very specific vacuum bell because it will need to work around your breasts. Alrighty guys, that's the video. Thank you so much. I hope it was helpful. I know it was a long one, but I'm sure it gives you lots of great insight into the different avenues you can go down depending on the type of your pectus. As I said before, book a strategy call with me, then I can meet you and really give you personalized advice because it really does depend on your age, so many factors, you know, your body composition, uh, the severity of your pectus, all these different factors will be considered. So book that strategy call if you want to, go to my website, fixpectus.com and we can go from there.